this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I would, thought we would talk a little bit about storing food in buckets. Alright, so we're all looking for options on how to store our food and there are lots and lots of ways to do it really. Um, you can store in mylar bags, in um, food saver bags, in glass jars, air cut, airtight containers. There are tons and tons of different ways. Some people even store food in like empty soda bottles and things like that. They work great. And it's just a matter of keeping your food airtight and you want to keep it safe from rodents and pests and things like that. Now we use buckets for a lot of our dried goods because it's a simple system that works for us. It's really easy to do and um, it's fairly inexpensive if you get the right, if you get buckets, you know, these this style with the Gamma Seal lid, these lids are super expensive. They work great and I really like them, but I only have so many of them because of the cost of them. Just the lid alone is ten to fifteen dollars per lid. And they're great though, they're, they make your bucket airtight. These come, it's a two-piece system for a lid and it if I can get the right angle on it. It just, it screws closed. And up inside this ring, there is a rubber seal. And I don't even know if I can get this thing off. Probably not. It's not. These really snap on really, really tight. So inside of here, there's a rubber seal making this airtight. And then on your cover, you can see there is this white seal here and when you screw that down that makes it airtight so in these type of buckets I don't vacuum seal all the stuff that's in it because this is an airtight bucket um, I don't have to vacuum seal it what I, I use this for shorter term stuff stuff that I'm going to use within two years usually um, this one has herbs spices and teas in it and you can see it's just kind of it's in there. It's just all in there. So we've got like cocoa, there's cocoa, broth, there's all kinds of stuff. Salt, yeast, um, tons of stuff and everything's just kind of piled in here. And when I need something I can just go down and I know um, that what's in here because we label all our buckets with that. So. That makes it really easy and I do like these Gamma Seal lids but they are expensive. Um, that's the only thing about the Gamma Seal lid is I try to do everything on a budget as cheaply as possible. Another option we use are just like Tractor Supply, Home Depot, Walmart, anything, whatever bucket with just the lid that you buy there also. It's just a regular lid. It doesn't have anything fancy. But inside, I make sure that everything is either in vacuum sealed in bags or in mylar. Um, these beans, when I buy them in bulk, I just break them down into one pound packages and, uh, and store them like that because that's how we will normally cook them or it's easy to measure them that way if they're in one pound packages. And this is just a mix of beans and it says red, black, and kidney, so I know what's in here when I look. It's just a piece of paper and some tape. I just make sure the words are covered up with a nice piece of packing tape so I know what's inside this bucket. And as long as everything is airtight in here, one of these seals are just fine. It's, you don't need anything fancy. You can just get the lid from the store. And these are, I think the lid's $2 and the bucket's $3 at most places. So you're still talking $5 for a bucket. But this will keep the bugs out and the rodents out and all that great stuff. 
So those are two options. And one other thing that I found, and I haven't been able to get them for a while, but I did check the other day, we had takeout Chinese food. So I was able to Excuse grab, me. I was able to grab a couple of five gallon buckets from the Chinese food store. And they sell this with the lid and the bucket for $3 here. Some places give these away. They're just gonna take them to the dump, so they'll give them away. Or you might be able to get them for a dollar or two dollars. Um, our Chinese store charges three dollars for them, but this is another airtight um, bucket. So this is just an empty bucket. I haven't filled it yet. But I thought I would show it to you because it's a much cheaper option and it still gives you that airtight bucket. Inside, because there was food in here, I think it was duck sauce. Yeah, it's a duck sauce bucket. Um, inside, there was a rubber seal right in the gasket. So when this lid snaps back on, it is airtight in there. So you could package stuff like that in here. Um, sometimes I'll use buckets like this with that ridge, with that seal. I will um, put stuff in it that's not vacuum sealed or in mylar bags because I've still got that airtight seal and it's keeping everything out. You're not going to get moisture and a lot of times I'll add silica packs so if any moisture gets in here, it happens to. Um, the silica gel packs will help absorb the moisture out of it like that. So I don't add oxygen absorbers because I do open these and it would totally defeat the purpose. But I, I do add like some silica packets in here. I'll take three or four and just chuck them in, let them fall to the bottom. They just help if any moisture gets in there because we live where we live. It's very humid in the summertime and humidity is not good for your food. So we try to just make sure we're keeping everything as dry as possible. So that's about it for buckets. There's really not a lot to it. It's very simple, it's very easy to do, and you just wanna make sure, if you're just gonna chuck food in a bucket, you want it to be airtight. So you wanna go with like a Gamma Seal or like one of these food buckets that has the, um, has the rubber insert in the, in the ring so it's going to be airtight in there but if you are vacuum sealing or putting your stuff in mylar bags or anything like that these buckets are just fine anything you get from tractor supply or anything like that i think it's the food grade is the hdp2 recyclable plastic is usually a good food grade bucket and i think all of these are they um even the tractor supply buckets are food grade buckets um, we always make sure that they're food grade so there's no leaching, but I mean we're not putting liquids or anything opened in these buckets. So everything is always closed and sealed up in them uh, no matter what. So, um, but I always use food grade buckets just in case and uh, because it does get warm in the summertime and uh, the humidity, I like to add just throw in a couple of silica packets and I just save them from when I buy anything. If there's silica packets, I just stick them in a jar. I have a collection of them and then when I'm packing up buckets or anything, I'll just chuck it right in there and it's simple and easy and it doesn't cost anything extra if you just save them. Like when you buy shoes or a purse or anything like that, I just, I save all that. I'm I'm cheap, I can't help it. <laughs> but that's it, this is a really easy way to store your food, it's convenient. Um, you can write the year on the labels uh, if you choose to. We have you know, a certain system, the way we do ours, I don't write years on it, but everything inside is labeled. Uh, when I get in there, I know, and we try to, we rotate everything so nothing is sitting too long anyway because we don't want to waste anything. I am a stickler about not wasting anything. And so if it is getting too far on the day that I think that we really need to use it, then I will figure out how we're gonna push that through our food rotation and meals and things like that, just so I know that we're not gonna waste it. That's it, simple, easy. Storing food in buckets is so easy to do. 
it's convenient and you can stack them up wherever you can stack these right up to the ceiling they don't take a lot of floor space so that's why I really like buckets and um, you can stack them six seven high right up to the ceiling as high as you can reach safely you know when you don't want to topple them onto yourself too high but <laughs> And that's it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.